hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well in today's video i'm sharing my autumn and fall favorites so everything from style and fashion to beauty and also homewares as well. So a real mix of items that I've been loving over the past few months that I really wanted to share with you. Let me start off with my current beauty favourites because I have quite a few that I have worn today to share with you. So first up has got to be these liquid blushes. These are from Giorgio Armani and they are the Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. These are a fairly new release. I believe they were released in the summertime, like spring summertime, and I have pretty much used these religiously ever since. So I have these two shades which I basically use on rotation. The shades are 50.5 which is this slight more like corally colour. This is what I'm wearing today as it's got a slightly more like orangey undertone which I think matches a bit nicer with a red lip. But I've also been loving this shade which is the shade 53 and this one is actually a little scary in the tube. Admittedly I was very cautious about trying out this one because I wasn't sure if it would suit me but it blends out so beautifully and it's just a really nice almost like cool toned pink which I think is so beautiful for day to day this would basically be my my daily blush choice because it works well with a nude lip and a pinky lip and this is my go-to but both of these I have pretty much used religiously like on rotation i use them in the summer whilst in portugal i've continued using them throughout my daily makeup whilst back in london and i, I just love them like i had to mention them because i've been using them just so much every day like i said and i really love them so big shout out goes to these next up we have a hair product and this Annoyingly today, I'm not wearing my hair up, so I didn't need to use this today, but this is such a go-to whenever I do up my hair. I actually recently shared my slick back bun routine in an Instagram Reels video, and this is front and center of that video. I use this all the time. So this is the Percy and Reed Hold It Right There Define and Hold Finishing Cream, and the reason why I love this is because it keeps my flyaways in place without being without making my hair feel too dirty afterwards i've had some like particular hair gels and hair products that even like a hair mousse it will typically leave my hair just feeling really like crispy and horrible like in need of a wash basically this stuff doesn't do that so it definitely still keeps my hair in place keeps those flyaways in place but it's just a bit more manageable i'd say so I'm happy to use this on like freshly washed hair because I know I won't feel like I need to wash my hair immediately after. So I've really been enjoying using this as part of my routine for any sort of slick back or a ponytail or even like a plait, a bun, literally anything. I try to not wash my hair frequently. I'd say like maybe twice a week I wash my hair. So products like this that I can use time and time again that don't make my hair feel too like crispy or dirty are essential in my routine and this in my opinion does the job and I've been loving it. This is another fairly new launch that quickly rose up into my favourites. I think I've had this for maybe a month or two months I want to say and I have pretty much used this every single day. I love it. So this is Lancome's La Vie Belle. Now La Vie Belle is nothing new. It's been my favourite perfume for years now. I just absolutely love it. They release updates to the fragrances or like limited edition fragrances from time to time and this is one of those. So this is Lancome's La Vie Belle Elixir and I just think it's so beautiful. It's just got a really sweet and fruity undertone and I love a fruity scent. I love a sweet scent. I know it's not for everybody, but for me personally, that's just what I love. And this essentially feels like a sweet scent, but for grown-ups. So it doesn't feel too too sickly sweet. It's just like a nice sweet. It's like a grown-up sweet. Ugh, I don't know. There's just something about this. I absolutely love it. And like I said, I have been using this pretty much non-stop since I first got it. And as it's Sort of a new release i feel like it's perfect for my autumn and fall favorites this next product i'm not sure whether it really falls into the beauty category i feel like it's beauty slash home so it's a nice little segue into homewares but it goes to a candle and this is the nest candles you can tell the box is quite a big one so it's one of their big expensive candles but i 
I love this. I really love this. So this particular scent from Nest is the Blue Cypress and Snow. Now I do think this was a Christmas limited edition and it's not around again this year. They do have some other Christmas scents this year, but this particular scent I don't think is available this year. At least I've not been able to find it when searching online. But it looks like this. Obviously, as you can tell, we do burn this candle, but it's so beautifully. It burns so so evenly it's so hard to get a candle to burn evenly but this one literally it's just oh, so evenly it's a three wick candle and this just fills our house with scent anytime we light this just our whole house smells incredible to sum up in my opinion i think they're well worth the look especially if you're on the hunt for something luxurious to add into your home. I guess I'll just continue into the homewares category next. And this is actually going from one extreme to the next extreme because I really wanted to include a diffuser. And this diffuser is from Lidl. It's £3.99. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting too much, but I'd seen a couple of TikToks and videos about these. So I thought, do you know what? I'll buy one. Let's give it a try. And so I went for the, this one is Coconut Crush, I believe it's called. And I just think it looks so nice. It did have a like sticker on here, but I just peeled that off. And I think these look so luxurious. They look really nice in my opinion. And they smell great. I was definitely dubious whether they would have the scent pay off, whether they would sort of fill the room with scent. And whilst I don't think they necessarily like fill our house with scent, they definitely do give off a, a powerful smell in the room that they're in, if that makes sense. So we have one in our office and we have another in the bathroom, both of which I feel whenever you walk into those rooms, you definitely do smell these. And I just think that's so good for 3 dollars I think it's an excellent price. And I think especially when it comes to diffusers, it can feel like you're just spending a lot of money for something that is going to evaporate, I guess. So I really like the fact that these smell good, they have a good scent payoff, and they're also really affordable. Next up, this is so random, but these, I, I, I just love these. So I have a bowl. Apparently I really like tableware and crockery because I'm pretty sure in my previous favorites video, I also had some bowls in there, but what can I say? I just like my crockery. But this is a scallop bowl. These are from Marks and Spencer. They come in a pack of four and I love them. I think they're great. I actually think I'm going to get another pack of these because we go through them so quickly. So we use these bowls a lot and I just love these from Marks and Spencer. They're both dishwasher and microwave safe, which is great. They're stoneware as well. So they are actually really heavy and really substantial, which I love about these. And I think they're a really great size too. They're not too deep. They're not too big. They're just, they're just right in my opinion. And I love these. Like I said, I definitely think I'm going to get my hands on another pack of these, so another four, because I just think they look so cute, great for eating in, absolutely love them, and definitely a favorite. Typically, autumn and winter means the colder weather is right around the corner, and I don't know about you, but a blanket literally becomes my best friend. So this one is from TB Co. They used to be called Tartan Blanket Co, but I do think they've since rebranded and shortened their name to just TB Co. I love this. This throw is made from a recycled wool blend. It is so unbelievably cozy like you wouldn't imagine and I just, I love this. We have this downstairs in our living room and usually like cozying up, watching a film or whatever, we'll go for this and I just love it. This is one of their sort of patterned like checkerboard pattern styles in. It's got different tones. It's got like pinks, purples, a little bit of green in there as well. But I just love this. I got this one, I believe it was Christmas last year and we've had it ever since then. But I think it's such a good a good gift idea. I know it might seem a little bit early to start talking about Christmas and gifting, but that's definitely been on my mind. And I just think something like this is so perfect to have at home. Great to cozy up with in autumn and winter as well. Next up, I simply had to mention this Beauty Effect mirror because I have been using it religiously. Every time I do my makeup, this mirror comes out. It's just been such a good one in my daily routine. I love it. The reason I love it, it's got lights. I love that. You can sort of change the type of light you use. This is gonna make my camera go so funny with all these different lights. But it's just so good to do my daily makeup. I've really found it so 
useful and helpful. I do my makeup just there, which is on my dressing table. However, our windows are here. So essentially the windows are like not exactly in the best position for me to do my makeup with natural light. So using this is great because it's obviously got the ring light almost, which really helps when doing my makeup if it ever gets a bit too dark over there. So I've loved this. It looks very beautiful on top of my dressing table. It doesn't look out of place or anything like that. And that's definitely something that I really love about this. It just fits in so seamlessly. It's definitely been a favorite and one that I didn't necessarily think I would love using as much as I do. If I'm being completely honest, I kind of thought, oh, it's like any other mirror. It's no biggie, but it definitely is. I've fallen in love with this ever since using it pretty much religiously every day. It's just an integral part of my daily makeup routine. Lastly, for my home slash miscellaneous category, it's a game. We played this over the weekend and it just reminded me how much I love this. It had been a while since we played it last, but it's just such a good one. So this is from Big Potato Games and this is called You Can't Say um, the reason I like this game is because you can play it in teams So it's great if you kind of need a bit of an icebreaker or not everybody really knows each other that well It's a great game to sort of break the ice like I said as the name would suggest you basically you can't hesitate You're describing some cards and you just can't hesitate as you do so but it does get really competitive It's such good fun to play. It's great for larger numbers as well because this does say four to ten players but in my opinion, you could definitely go above that. It just makes the game that little bit longer, but it's real good fun. And if you're after a game that's great for all ages, the whole family can get involved, great as an icebreaker as well, I would highly recommend checking out You Can't Say Um. And Big Potato Games in general, because they do some excellent games. I guess you could say I've saved the best until last because now we're on to the style favorites. So first up for me, jeans. These are the Levi ribcage straight jeans. I love these. I have a grey pair, a black pair and also I'm actually wearing my uh, blue wash pair as well. I've gone for a double denim look today which I'm quite into especially with the red lip. I feel like it looks quite cool. But anyway as I was saying these jeans are just my all-time favourites right now. I've been absolutely obsessed with them. I pretty much just wear them every day. I think they're easy. They're so easy to wear so easy to style, they look great with trainers, they look great with boots, they look great with, I mean I was gonna say sandals but I'm not wearing sandals now, but even like ballet flats, like they just look good with so many different pairs of shoes and they're great for this time of year because I love tucking in a jumper to my denim for example, love tucking in a shirt to my denim like I've done today, it's just a favourite sort of style for me and so these jeans have been fitting the brief perfectly you don't have to buy new when looking for levi jeans in particular and in particular this style you can find so many of these second hand so search ebay search vintage and you'll be sure to find some second hand i don't think this will come as a surprise to anybody it's a little bit of leopard print because who would I be if I didn't include leopard print in my favourites? Especially this autumn when leopard print is having such a moment. So this is a shacket. It's from Nobody's Child and I love it. I, I just love it. What can I say? It's a really nice layering piece. One thing I will say about this though is it's not warm. By no means is this something you can wear as, as we get into winter, like the, the depth of winter this just won't be warm enough but with a jumper and this at the moment I have been loving that kind of look it's just when I'm wearing an outfit that's somewhat plain and maybe not too colorful or even if it were colorful but just a plain outfit I love adding this pop of leopard print I think it's so nice and I think the reason I've been wearing this so much recently as well is because I know my time is limited with this piece I know that soon it will be too cold to simply wear this as outerwear but it will still work as a layering piece. I imagine further along into winter that I could wear this under jackets and things as an additional layering piece to my outfit, but I just love it. It's so easy for every day. It's not too dressed up, but it's also not too like casual either. It's definitely slap bang in the middle, which I love about this. I wear this running errands. I wear this if I'm going out. Like it's just a go-to and I've been obsessed with it. Next up, pajamas. I don't know about you, but I love my pajama collection and my pajama drawers. And in the autumn and winter, 
pajamas just become something even more integral in my I don't want to say style but in my daily outfits so the outfits that I wear the most well outfits again using that term lightly but what I wear the most pajamas are definitely it and I came to the conclusion the other day whilst finishing off my wardrobe switchover that I have 90% of my pajama drawer filled with Chelsea Pierce pajamas so it felt only right that I would mention my Chelsea Pierce PJs now these in particular I really love these are just a uh, cream and like navy stripe and I really love wearing these like I said I feel just a bit more put together I suppose whenever I have these sort of nice pajamas on so I just felt like I had to include these in this favorites video because like I said come autumn and winter I spend so much more time wanting to be cozy and in my pjs and in loungewear and Chelsea Piers is up there with one of my favorite pajama brands last but by no means least in my fashion favorites something that I thought I would forget but luckily I haven't it's my earrings I wore these today so that you could see them on, because I always think it's quite nice to see a favourite and to see it on. But these are from ASOS, and they're just really inexpensive, really affordable. So they were from ASOS. I do believe they are still available. I did get them a couple of months ago, but I'm pretty sure they're still online. And they're just this sort of like ridged effect hoop. And I like something a little more unusual, because I think this basically they're just slightly more trend led which I think is quite nice whereas with the pieces that I purchase on Monica Vinader for example because they are more expensive I like for them to be sort of timeless and classic items but when I want something a bit different a bit more fashion forward and a bit more trend led I'm happy to shop the high street and these from ASOS I've just been loving them I think they look great when my hair is tied up they look really nice because they're still quite big when my hair is down as well so they're just a great all round daily hoop a little more interesting than like a plain hoop is and I think that's what I really love about them they're kind of merging two of my favorite things so something a bit more chunky asymmetrical with something classic like a hoop earring is which I just absolutely adore so really wanted to give these a mention as well because often my jewelry is more expensive so I think it's quite nice as well to show something that is more affordable so that brings us to the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed watching and seeing my current autumn favourites across style, beauty and home. A very big thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you're not already subscribed. I'm currently uploading weekly videos on my channel so if you don't want to miss next week's video, be sure to subscribe. A big thank you for watching and I will see you all next week. Bye!